I like a guy that like strong, like muscles. Yeah, like can like pick you up and throw you against the wall and <laughs> your brains out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh honey. honey. Welcome to the Oh Honey podcast, where you get the sticky and the sweet with Summer and Amanda. It's so Today we have Sophia Hodes. She is one of the most creative people. She has like a, like a brilliant mind. I can't even explain it. She is by far the most creative person I've ever met. She's you can incredible. tell by her outfit today. She's even just too. so crazy. For our listeners, we got like a flannel with a crop top underneath, but very unique. Not your she traditional. Looks it. very yeah. vintage. I'm a vintage girl. Yeah, sure. I love that though. She's just like one of the dopest people ever. Yeah. So I, I want her me. on because she is a dope business woman. Mm -hmm. She is successful and also creative and very unique. And okay. she does jackets and her brand is like doing jackets for a lot of celebrities, custom. influencers, custom. And yeah, so tell us about yourself. What, what is it oh that you boy. do? Honey? How'd you get into fashion? Well, I've been in fashion since I was like, 15. Wow. I started working at my first job ever was limited to. Oh, limited to. You remember? Do yeah. you remember limited mm -hmm. to? I think they're still. Because I used to love the limited. No, now it's Justice. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's Justice oh. now. Hyenas. Oh, that's why it looks so similar. Yeah. Hyenas. <laughs> so I started there, and then obviously throughout high school, I had like other jobs in retail. And then at 18, I was a denim specialist at Barney's. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went on to Fred Siegel for like six years. Uh, cool. And Fred Siegel. I had no idea I could paint at all yeah. until, because my roommate at the time, she started painting like obsessively every day, like wouldn't even leave the house. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, can I cuss? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I was like, it, I'm gonna try this. Mm -hmm. So I picked up a paintbrush and I was like, okay, mm -hmm. not bad. And then I put it on denim because I've been around denim forever. I always distress denim and then I combine the two. And then one of my girls that I hired at Fred Siegel, she asked me one day if I wanted to get my nails done after work. And um, I was like, actually, I need to. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. And she's friends with Black China's nail artist, mm -hmm. who's also Black China's best friend. So we went over to Lashton and Sino after hours. So it was just me, the girl I hired, and China's nail girl. And then I was wearing one of my jackets. And then all of a sudden, China walks in. So I was like, we started talking and I ended up making her a jacket. We met two weeks later. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the hell am I gonna put on this girl's jacket? I've never made a, like anybody a jacket. Mm -hmm. She had just launched her emojis, remember, remember those? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, for show. I'm gonna put her face, cause <laughs> she's obsessed with herself. And I was like, what am I gonna write? So I started like scrolling on Instagram through her captions and I saw one that said, that'll teach him. And I was like, I f*** with that. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, sassy, it's for sure her. So it's her face mm -hmm. and it says, that'll teach him. Oh, cool. She That's wears sweet. it the next day and announces her pregnancy with Rob. Oh, perfect. Well, sort of. I mean, I had my PR remove my name from that because it looked like it was a stab at the Kardashians. Oh. Because it's like, that'll teach him. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even yeah. think about that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, in, you know, I mean... <laughs> The universe put that together, not you. <laughs> Literally everybody started sliding in my DMs after. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, she's made big I made people's... literally so many f***ing jackets. Yeah. So many, but it was worth it, you know. I actually, yeah. she made me one. It's like one of my favorite jackets in the world. It's like, it's like I told her just to be creative. And she has, one day when I walked into her house, like the first time I ever went over to her house, she has this painting in her house. And it's like this, it's like a butt. And it's like a girl, like, pulling the thong with her fingers yeah. and she's pulling it out of her butt and it's like a um isn't it a cheeto i mean yeah a cheetah thong, a cheetah yeah. thong and like we love it's just so print. cool so i loved that and mm. like i was obsessed with it. i was like i want you to put that on a jacket so she put it on a jacket in the in the hands like on that one she has like sparkly she had like nails, nails and stuff yeah. so i, so I don't like fake nails and i like all my rings so she made it on my jacket she has with no ring. no like like fingernails, like natural ones, and then I think it has nail polish on them, but then all my rings on my yeah. fingers. My yeah. jacket is so amazing, I love it. It has all these <laughs> sayings. Like she'll make it like for you, like 
for your brand and it's just like crazy. I That's love awesome. It. Yeah. And then do you do it for the public as well? Yeah, I yeah. do custom inquiries for sure. Oh, cool. Yeah. So not just celebrities. <laughs> no, and I feel bad because yeah. so many people like ask me like, do you only do it for like celebrities and influencers? I'm like, absolutely not. Like, yeah, you don't have to be famous to rock a jacket. Yeah. yeah. You got to pay for it for sure. Yeah. But like, <laughs> Yeah. So like design that. your jackets. It's awesome. Yeah. And it's cool. And like a lot of people just trust my, you yeah, know, creative. Out, yeah. And yeah. just let me go ham on it. I feel like that's what makes it so special is like it's a surprise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm always, I was so excited because she doesn't let you see it until she just calls me. She's like, oh, my God, girl, you're going to go crazy. Yeah. And and I'm like, I want I someone to make me a jacket. I know. Well, I'll, I'll make, make you one. Like Christmas really? Time. Yeah. I'll make you be, one. Oh, okay. I'll make you this one. This is like changed. Yours is going to be a lot better. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. Yeah. I had one friend, Tori, she made me a jacket. Oh, yeah. And did you like it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I did. Oh, good. Okay. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did. Love you. No, I did. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's and that at that point too, it's like, it's also a gift, a sentimental because it's so thoughtful. Like you yes. have to put so much thought into everybody's custom stuff. It's intimate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for it's sure. Awesome. It's just so crazy. She's such a good painter. Like literally, she can look at something that she wants to duplicate onto it, and she just does it. It's like, how are you doing this? Mm. She's so talented. It's just it's the, it, you have to train yourself. Yeah. Like I spent a lot of time like actually looking at something and drawing it out while not looking at the paper. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I think you just have to have that. Like, yeah. it's like, I you think... You need the talent, too. Yeah, you were born with that, and then you finally found it, and unleashed it. It's just crazy it. that I had no idea. Yeah, I that's, think that's the coolest thing, though. Yeah. Like, if I sat down with a paintbrush, it would look like... But that's how I thought. third grader, probably. But that's yeah. how I thought. Let's you give it a go. It. You never know. <laughs> you never know unless you try it. Well, I know. I know my handwriting's really bad. I like the worst handwriting. Really? Yeah. Me it's too. like you too. Yeah. yeah. You're like, nope, mine's great. <laughs> no, actually, I don't like my handwriting. Yeah. 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 So at least I mean I can read it, so that's good. Well, Serves right. the purpose, yeah. right? Then you're fine. Yeah. If you can't read it, then there's a problem. Do you have siblings? Um, I had to think about that for a second. I am an only child from my mom and my dad, okay. but I have two step and then a half brother. Do you consider them like family or? Oh, for it, sure. Yeah. Yeah, they're family, but yeah. I mean. You're not like super close? Mm, not really. Yeah. Not super close at all. I'm really close with my parents though. Yeah. I guess I have a sister in law and a brother in law. That's what it's called, right? When your parents remarry and then the other person has kids already. Mm -hmm. Step. So, really? Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. in law is like, <laughs> like mother in law. <laughs> in law would be your husband's That's like, sister. But yeah. I met I'm them like, like once or twice, and but they're older and they have their own lives, so I like never really was able to like create that like relationship with yeah. them. But if I see them, like hey, like what's How up? But it's not like yeah, me and my sisters. You Do know? they live here? Um, no, my whole family's in Florida. Oh, cool. Yeah, but like they're my, my I guess my step brother and my stepsister which is so weird to say because it doesn't feel like I have those. Yeah. Um, they live in New York. Dope. So like, I'm Yeah, it's always hard when you like meet like them at like such an, like you guys. Yeah, it's when hard. When you're kids, it's like so easy to adapt to new people and just like, oh yeah, this is my sister, this is my brother. Yeah. But yeah. when you're old, it's like, okay, what? You're not my sister or my brother. Yeah. <laughs> it's but, weird. It's an adjustment, you know, because mm -hmm. you're already like. But you feel like you're an only child or you feel. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So I mean, I'm like, treat, I've been treated like one my whole life, you yeah. know, and I'm really close to my parents, so. Mm -hmm. Were you spoiled growing up, or was it kind of, because that's. Listen, <laughs> it's, okay, it's, to an extent, yeah, but yeah. I always worked. Yeah. So, like, they taught me, you know, discipline, they taught me. Which is great. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't expect anything to be handed to me. Right. By any means. Yeah. Do I, you know, do we go and splurge? Or just maybe yeah. once in a while. But <laughs> I feel like that's what, I mean, with an only child, if I had one kid, I mean. Oh, game over. Yeah, probably. I say, probably I would say I wouldn't, but then, you know, once you see the baby, you're like, oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, give you take our dogs, for example. Yeah. yeah. You especially. You can have a stroller. Do I have everything for those damn yeah. dogs? Yeah. It's they're my love. babies. Mm. It's true. Mine are my babies, even though they're crazy. What type of dogs? Well, I have Louie, <laughs> who's a um, designer. Well, actually, he's from Compton. Yeah, but the name yeah. was after Louie. Actually, Compton. he's from No, 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 no. I rescued him when he was a year old. and oh, I love that. I rescued him 
because he came from like he came from Compton. Yeah. Like legit ass lived there. Yeah. And um, he's but, a poodle Bichon. Oh. Nuts. Yeah. He's so smart. And so funny. Yeah. He's so smart. It's scary. Poodles are known to be very smart. Well, yeah. Smart yeah, dogs. Yeah, a poodle too, and he's very smart. Yeah. And then I recently got Pablo. Oh. He's from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Straight off the border. Like yeah. My friend dad owns property in um, Mexico, and he, this guy was selling this little puppy. Aww. Like, he snuck him under his seat across the border. Aww. So I have yeah, him now. I have no idea her. what he is. Yeah, just some mix. I think he's like a golden retriever, Australian shepherd, coyote wolf. Oh, it must look awesome then. Those Not are like really cool breeds. He's really cool. Yeah, he's, he's a bigger really dog? Smart. Yeah, he is bigger. He's skinnier than Louis, but taller. Yeah. And Louis just. I yeah. saw him for the what first do you time think a of Louis? Bit. Um, he's very he remember I said he's gotten fat. Okay, he got a haircut. You know, he looks fat. He got a haircut. So it was the hair that did it. Yeah, I told you that. I tell everybody that. So <laughs> I hate when they call my dog fat. He's You're not like, fat. No, like, he, he nice. was a little chumpy. Do you know how much hair he had? He had a lot of hair. Know. Nothing's wrong with like, I'm not saying like he's obese, like it's unhealthy. He just looks like he's been eating good. No. He doesn't, it's just, he doesn't overeat though. She's like very sensitive. I, about, I can't she's wait. She's very on this. sensitive about her dogs. We have one of our What's friends. Her baby? One of our, our friends, mm -hmm. Nas, doesn't really like Louie. And she I, threw my fing <laughs> dog at my bar cart once. And wait, no. what? She threw <sighs> your dog at the what? My bar cart. We're sitting on the floor in my living room. Maybe you have to explain what a bar cart is. Yeah. You, you know the bar, oh, cart? the bar cart? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're sitting on the floor in my living room and. Like, Louis loves attention. He loves sitting on you. He loves, you know, being pet. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, all, yeah. Up, he's like all, he's up, all, all over you. Real. And Nas is just like, oh, Louis, get off. And she, like, actually threw him. Aww. Yeah, this has been, like, a hard moment for so you. I can't even talk time. about it. Like, I don't know what to talk about. It. I give her shit till this day. I'm yeah. like, did you just throw my fucking dog? <laughs> What's wrong with Was you? Was it, like, an aggressive? Th no, not like a fucking, like, yeah, a, she's not, like, like hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh but if hell, our friendship would be over. She, yeah. I'm saying she's pretty like, surprised about them, still. so it's like something like that it would yeah. be like... It was just like a like a move. And I was like, what the f*** are you doing? Yeah, you like, you don't move. So right in your up. head, and I'm... You threw my f***ing dog! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. She's just... Mm -hmm. She loves Pablo. Yeah. I don't know. She just has this Louis like... a lot, but he's so cute. Does your parent, Did you have dogs growing up? Oh, so many. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like whenever you have a dog growing up, you always end up, or animals growing up, you always like end up needing that in your life. Hundred mm -hmm. percent. I love dogs. Like I, yeah. I want to like start a foundation. Yeah. For them, like yeah. I really plantation of dogs. You're That's like my sweet. mom's dream. Dude, for real. Yeah. <laughs> I love dogs. She's like, just put me on a plot of land. With, with like a thousand dogs. Yeah, and I'll be good. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll work towards that. <laughs> yeah. I'll work towards that. <laughs> yeah. I get that for you, mom. But also, like, with loving dogs so much, that has to be, like, a requirement in any relationship that you're into is, like, if you don't love my dogs. Oh, my God, it's so weird that you're saying that. Why? Because the guy that I'm seeing, mm -hmm. like, the reason why another, like, I've been friends with him for a really long time, mm -hmm. and we've become, like, best friends. Mm -hmm. And then this, like, lovey-dovey feeling just started blossoming. Oh, because I guess we put down our wall, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Mm -mm. Yes. I don't, but. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no. Mm -mm. I'll tell you later. <laughs> no one knows him, but um, yeah. he he can handle me. He mm -hmm. can handle my crazy and my dogs. And that right there, money. Yeah. If you can handle my oh, dogs. Oh, so this is a happy story. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be like, and he couldn't handle my dogs. And I oh, was like, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. You got rid of them. <laughs> he can he can handle uh, there a lot though. That's like he, seeing his interaction with your dogs is probably like how you just love him even more. Yeah. Well, like... his dad actually is the one that gave me Pablo. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But he's so just it's kind of his son. So he's way. he's Latin. The dog? No, the um the boyfriend because his dad was. In oh Mexico. no, he just owns property there. Oh god. No, it. yeah, they're Israeli Moroccan. Oh okay, we're finding out more details. Yeah. <laughs> like, give it to us, so come on, I feel like you're holding out on us. It's like getting serious. Oh, really? That's so exciting. It's such a lifestyle change, too, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, my past relationships... Not okay. good? Well, you know, the last one that I was in, the long one, I looked at it as kind of like codependency. Mm -hmm. And that was just a 
the biggest hot mess I've ever, ever been in for way too long. And, um, what made you get out of it? My sanity. Yeah. You're like, all right, I'm like, I'm not myself in this relationship. Oh, it took away everything. Like when I started my company, like he got jealous of it and just because he wasn't established himself and that's Listen, yeah. that's not my problem. Mm-hmm. You got to get your mind right before you can be with anyone. And you got to love the yourself. the thing is with you yeah. guys is like you guys will break up or whatever. And then you think that you can be because you like you would know, pass you know, sense. Would, Way past but yeah. would you guys would like mm-hmm. break up mm-hmm. and then you'd be like, okay, I want to be his friend. Let's be friends. You kind of let he him back in friend. and then you realize you can't because then they get crazy again. You know, yeah. when you break up and you think, okay, it's over. And then you, you know, you like, oh, yeah. you want that person, to you each want other that person still. in your life. It wasn't you know, even the crazy. attraction. It was <laughs> the fact that yeah. it's like, you know, you're waking up with someone every day. Yeah. You're going to bed with someone every night mm-hmm. and then they're gone. Yeah, you know, so, so you're, it's like it's, hard to adapt to them. Exactly, being gone. but that's so where the codependency comes from. Then you want them in a little bit, and you let them in, and then they get crazy again, and Fucking then it's like, hurts. crap, why did I let you mm-hmm. back in? So then you have to get them out again. You have to yeah. like get out of my life again, and then it's just crazy. Yeah. If things get so crazy, does would that make the breakup really difficult too? Or is well, that, that, that this person part? had a hard time facing emotion yeah. and dealing with emotion, so his escape was just leaving oh he's completely unstable yeah like to the fullest extent and you know there's a lot of people that go through that though i mean i almost prefer that and just leaving than just going crazy on me if i tried to break up i'd rather just be like oh you just made that really easy yeah but until they come back and try to like go to you know what i mean swindle their way and yeah show up yeah, Un, like unannounced. No, this is what I was doing. I was working on us the whole time. I mean, there here. was definitely bad, you know, fights and stuff. But yeah, there comes a point where it's like, all right, who do you care more about, this person or yourself? Mm-hmm. And what do you want? You know, you're not going to marry this person. Yeah. So why? Exactly. Like the person I'm spending time with now, mm-hmm. if I don't see a future with them, I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah. Because what's the point? Yeah. You get to a like, certain age where it's like, all right. That's kind of like mm-hmm. husby material. Yeah. You know. What would qualify for husband material for you? <sighs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Like, I got the list. <laughs> um, husband material, honest, mm-hmm. 100%. Honesty is key. Number one. Communication. Number one also. Because without communication, <laughs> like, you have not, like, you can't do any, like, there's mm-hmm. no moving forward. It seems to be like the summary of every conversation we have. Communicate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, loyalty. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you have to have like fatherly instincts for sure. Yeah, because you want a family. Yeah. Yeah, you want kid. You want a sing- only child. Or you want well, like low children? key. I went to a psychic. Yeah. For the first time ever, which, by the way, this chick is insane. Because yeah. everything she said so far is happening, and I'm tripping out. I'd be a little bit. I was so scared. I, I have, I have like a viewpoint on that too. Cause it's like also when you go to a sidekick and then they tell you things, you have that energy that you're putting out into the world, knowing those things. And it's more likely to become true because of that energy that you're putting out there. Like manifestation. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. No, that's true. That's true. It's just, she gave me like certain dates that some things are going to happen. See, that's a little bit more detailed. That was, that was scary. <laughs> the timing on that is pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, you have to make me laugh. Mm. Someone is just easy, you yeah. know, just chill. Yeah. It doesn't cause problems. You know, someone you can be yourself around, mm-hmm. be comfortable with and just doesn't try to work you up for no reason. Exactly. Yeah. Someone who literally you could like lay in bed with forever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or just, you know, do nothing. A small errand is the like the best time. time ever. Yeah. If you have to date someone that you have fun in the grocery store with. That's Aww, that's good. That's my quote. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, is that like with him, he's also like he is a creative <laughs> genius. Mm-hmm. He, I've the never, two of them. That's together. what you were drawn Crazy. to. That's like a hundred percent. His mind. It's just like, and as an artist, yeah. He, and I've told him this. He inspires me because mm-hmm. he's just he's his mind is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. So it's funny because I was talking to this videographer on the phone the other day. And I was explaining to him like what I wanted for the video, Mm -hmm. but you know, I don't know the ins and outs of the whole video technology the editing. Exactly. So without even saying anything, Mm -hmm. I was like, hold on. And I give the phone to my mans and he just, 
And he literally said everything I was thinking. Yeah, like, I and she's I think just that's getting what I so I, turned on. She's yeah. like, no, because it's just like you're in my mind. It's crazy. And like yeah. in the morning, he's like, what did you eat for breakfast? Waffles? Yes, I did. I, like, what did you eat last night? Pasta? I was like, yeah. And I don't yeah. really eat pasta. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, the waffles, I could tell you that. I, yeah. but the pasta. <laughs> I'm a big waffle girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I goes, but yeah, he, um, he just, he gets you. It's scary. And yeah. I feel like almost in the past, you guys haven't been able to really, because you guys are both creative geniuses, like, so intensely, mm -hmm. that it's, like, kind of scary for you guys to come together. But I think it's, I think this is good. It, it, sometimes it is hard for two really creative people to be together because sometimes there's creative differences as well. And usually those differences are really passionate. Yeah. So sometimes that could create a lot of conflict. Uh, but with you guys, you guys I would seem say on the that, same page. Yeah. yeah because, and also it's like he's like a creative genius, but he also he has like a whole company yeah. that has nothing to do with anything involving like he knows how to keep it separate from yeah he, yeah yeah so this is something he does for fun mm -hmm. and just like, it's like a hobby exactly like music too oh my god <laughs> yeah. oh my Look god it's you. insane you're so in love Am I? Yeah. yeah the way like even just you talking about it and you smiling in your body language you just and like how happy i can see you in your went eyes. you went from being just like lounging here talking about yeah this is what i'm doing what? to like <laughs> i know she goes from like boss bitch like i don't give a what are we talking about today to <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's for sure though this. like that's a beautiful thing like yeah. that's what people search their whole lives for is just like a somebody to love right yeah, but it just comes so unexpectedly. That's though. always when it happens okay. the best time. Yeah. It's like I'm still trying to like wrap my head around it. We both are. Like, when did this? How did this happen? Yeah, because maybe because they've known each other forever. So and they've always been really good friends. They've always like we hooked up for pretty, two years. Mm -hmm. The like on and off. Though, and it was like, but, even, like, but in your head, you weren't like you're like yeah, we hooked up. But all right, but he's still like, like, he's like my like, best friend. It was yeah. like hooking up, and it was kind of like. No passion. It's probably like, you know, like when you, it's passion, but not like, oh my God, I'm attached to him. It's kind of like yeah. tooted and booted. Like, that's to my friend. We're going to have sex. Let's do it. But something slogan. happened. <laughs> yeah, something happened. It was like, I think it was a great time. It, it kind of makes me think about that guy. I remember when, like, when someone's not being the feminine or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. But at the, I mean, maybe mentally or maybe timing, like the world wasn't ready for you guys to have that passion yet. And Maybe you had is. to get stuff out of your system. You were in a relationship before, right? You were friends when you were in a relationship or no? Yeah. That, so my f***ed up relationship yeah. was a long time ago. And then I started seeing this other guy. Yeah. And the guy I'm seeing now, he actually was seeing another girl. Oh, okay. At the same time, which is so weird. And then you guys... We finished around the same time too. And you guys broke up with your other... Did you hook up while you were with the other no, people? No, 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 no. Yeah, you're like, loyalty. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't do that. So you guys broke up with your significant others and then, or whoever you were dating. Yeah. And then um, then you're like, hey. We just started talking. I mean, we yeah. just, because we were always friends. Yeah. So we started hanging out and then. Um, I think it also gave you like another level of like connecting too, of like. Yeah, I broke up with my mind to this. Oh, like it. Yeah, well, low key, I didn't even know that he was seeing anyone. Oh, really? Yeah. But See, maybe he's always had like a crush on you then, right? Because we've always there's always been chemistry. Chemistry for yeah. sure between us since yeah. like since day one. Yeah. And well, which hence your friendship, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's always been chemistry, but I think you know he put his wall down. Mm -hmm. I put my wall down. Mm -hmm. And. Then you then you peel me, the layers. For you're me, like, being friends with both of them, I'm always telling her, "You're so fucking stupid. Just be, they literally everyone are perfect says we should for be each together. other. Everybody, they're literally yeah. perfect what? for each All other. Like I don't see them not being together. I'm like, you guys are so stupid. Just I'm like, just love each other already. Like what the? What are you waiting for? <laughs> In time, yeah. you, anything that you rush comes crashing down faster. Mm -hmm. That's what I realized. And plus, you always got to do it from your own. Yeah, like, you got to feel it. We oh, yeah, it's totally felt felt it. <laughs> and we're Fuck. feeling it. <laughs> we're feeling it. Are you scared? Excited? Everything. And yeah. Everything. Because you risk. Oh, go ahead. It's just like, I, I don't know. It's, you know, I guess the fear comes from, you know, now you're at a point where you can lose something that you really, really, really love. Yeah. And that's what's scary. Yeah. You but know? I think even and it's easier said than done, but going into a relationship, especially with somebody who was your friend before, I feel like if they, 
relationship for whatever reason was ever to end, that you are more likely to remain friends with that person than have like a, like a bad breakup just because you yeah, go in I don't, as friends beforehand. I don't think it would, I don't think it'd be bad. I th and I talked to him about this. He said, if God forbid anything were to happen, I think it would be from both of us. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's just scary. Cause like the other morning, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but the other <laughs> morning, um, we were talking about like love and he asked me like, do you, do you love me? And it's weird because he loves chills. Yeah. So I was giving him chills that morning. Yeah. And um, chills, chills meaning like, like tickles, tickles on the back. Yeah. So I wrote out Pistons. something on his back super fast just because I was being weird in my own head. Yeah. And I just wrote, I think I'm falling in love with you. But he didn't, he didn't notice it because and it was. And then he just asked that question right It after. felt really fast. Yeah. And then we were laying down and he was like, and then he asked me that. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. There's no way he, I wrote it like in cursive. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're like, you're, you're like a five-year-old in cursive. And wow. I was like. You're, you guys are just that connected though. It's crazy yeah. how connected we are. Yeah. I feel like I could talk to him telepathically. No, Try I'm kidding. It. I'm kidding. Try it. I'd look crazy. Imagine. Echolocation. That's yeah. how bats talk. Echolocation. You're a bat. I find my way. I find my way. What are you talking about? Echolocation. I played this game when I was a kid, like for school, and I learned about the bats from songs. She's talking about love, summer, yeah, and being echolocation. I don't know what that means. Like it's the vibrations. Yeah. Like bats talk f through vibrations through. So it's called echolocation. So you guys I are like my prey, bats and dolphins over there. I find my prey. I find my way. Okay. Mm, echolocation. Find my prey, find my way. Well, I'll yeah. try that. Yes. Let's you know how it goes. Guys, Maybe I should like. You I, always learn the most. Let through me song. think about having him call me. That'd be so weird. That Do that. So weird. All right, yes. Okay, manifest that. Manifest that. Well, I think he knows I'm like busy right now, oh. so. Oh. He's on interrupt. But that Plus, would be really tricky. Call <laughs> yeah. me. Right now? He's call like, me hey, right now. I'm sending Did you want me to call you? What if he texts you, he's like, hey, should I call? Do you need me? That'd be really weird. Yeah. But, um, no. So yeah, so, so what'd he, you say? So I was like, my heart started beating really fast for yeah. sure. Cause it's like, oh my God, what the f is going on right now? We're actually talking about this. So I was like, I'll just write it on your back. Mm -hmm. So he's like, okay. So I wrote, you wrote it in Arabic. I, and he's like, <laughs> I, like I'm 12. Yeah. T, I think I'm falling in love with you. And I was like, what about you? And he's like, turn over. So then he wrote on my back, I think I am falling too. Aww. You guys don't think, come on. You guys know. Yeah, but like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. downplay it a little I bit. I think you always say ah, thanks too, because it makes it a little like sweeter and yeah. like less like, like, <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> yeah. I'm, just like, I'm falling in love with yeah. you. I'm just it's like, I fucking love romantic. you. Romantic. That was super romantic. How do you create a romantics? Just like, riding on each other's yeah. backs with our fingers. Yeah. It's fine. But that's just such a cute way to say that to each other. Only artists would think of that. <laughs> I know. You guys are like artists with that. Like just cursive. Let me paint. No, paint that's super sweet. Paint me like one sweet. of your French gals. And that's gals. so like, it's, that is super intimate too. Because it's with touch. It's yeah. with speaking, hearing, feeling. Guessing. Yeah, emotions. Guessing. Yeah, all that. Dude, so sexy. Yeah. It's That's hot. a good start. Yeah, I mean. How long has it been? Like this? Yeah. When was that? Three months. I'm kidding. I'm when was that I love anymore. you? Like, I think I'm falling in love with you. Oh. Last night? No. This morning? No. Last, yesterday Last morning? week. Last week. Oh. <laughs> Don't ever let anyone finish. Uh, like, guessing. But we've been feeling like, you know, yeah, something for it. the past several months. But it's a whole different feeling once you say it. Well, we didn't really say it. That's the thing. So you also have that to look forward to, too. Like you I'm have not so saying much. it first. <laughs> that, he's going to say it first. I, I can't wait to hear the story with the fact that you said it first. <laughs> You're no. just going to come back and be like, because sometimes, sometimes you just blurt it out. Dude, that's always how it happens. He's actually blurted it out by accident. Oh, really? So you I'm like, did you just say I love you? And he's like, mm, I call him out. I'm like, yeah, that's what? Bye. That's the thing. Yeah. 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 That always happens. And I just, funny enough, because he sleeps over a lot, and I got him a toothbrush while he was gone, 
And then last night. It's permanent residence toothbrush. <laughs> so last night, he's, I was like, I got you a toothbrush. He's like, you're saying it's so nervous. It's so cute. And yeah. I was like, I'm not nervous. I got you a toothbrush. Yeah, you and then one. you change your whole yeah. demeanor. You're like, you're like I got your this. toothbrush, bro. And he used it yeah. this morning, and it was really cute. Aww. Aww. And that's the one that's there. And then every time you go in the bathroom in the morning, you're like, huh. And then you guys break up, and then you put it in the toilet. No. Can we oh. <laughs> and you clean this it, you put it all in the toilet, story. and then you put it back. Did you do that to Bennett? Oh, hell yeah. I'll do worse oh. things if he pisses me off. Oh I would just God. throw it out. I I don't, yeah, just throw it out. No, yeah. I'll be like, come get your f***ing toothbrush. And I put it in the toilet, and then I give it back to him. He would probably, knowing come, you, you would probably be like, I'm just going to throw it out. <laughs> he would go and get it and be like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can't trust that. Can't trust that. That'd be really funny, though. Depends on why we broke up. Like, if he me up. Yeah, imagine, yeah. imagine yeah. like you did something to him, and then oh, like no, we no, broke no. up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ben no. and her are gonna get married. Yeah, for sure. He's such a good guy. Oh, I love him. Yeah. You guys are gonna get married. I already know. He, she said that from the first time we started dating. Yeah. She she loves his hairline. It's the hairline. She, really? <laughs> yeah. I've told you the story. Remember? With the hairline, when I see him in the Delilah with the hairline. I didn't know it was because of the hairline. Oh, he's so cute. There's multiple factors. That was the first thing that she saw. Then she saw the hairline before the face. Yeah. She's like, well, oh he, my gosh, he always has hair. He always had hair. Can in you face. imagine? Like, yeah. I want him. I like his hairline. Yeah. It's <laughs> What's like the number one thing that turns you guys on about like a guy? Um, like your the, I like physical neck. attraction. I like the back physical of the neck. Physical attraction. Uh, Yours is the back of the neck. And he, I kind of like a guy with like nice a, big hands. I like a guy that like strong, like muscles. Yeah, like can like pick you up and throw you against the wall and <laughs> your brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Preach! <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm just the one who's saying it. She's like, I'm, I'm like make sweet love and <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, angel, yeah. devil. No, no, I'm but, saying what she's thinking. But so. it's it's something like super sexy. Yeah, I mean when you're attracted to somebody, like for me, like what, what else are you gonna use them for? <laughs> you know, facts. Yeah, it's like all right, like guys today with muscles, like all right, like you're not unless you have a job, but like construction worker, or you're doing things like actually like. Like, he's a personal trainer, and my guy is doing that stuff. So it's like, yeah, he's, he needs those muscles. But he needs to do, she's just trying to put him to work. Yeah. It's like, all right, how can, like, in the daily life of a normal human being, like, we're not cavemen anymore. Like, it's not really, <laughs> like, necessary to have these, like, massive muscles. But where else are you going to use them but in the bedroom? True. True. I mean, I wouldn't say the guy who just, like, took it way overboard but at the end. I, I would say mine, <laughs> you know, it was bad. It was bad. I, was like, I went to the gym with him once and he started like cussing up the weights. I'm like, what the f oh, are you see, doing? That's like, yeah, I don't want like, those kind of muscles. Like, I don't want fake. Roided no out. hormonal. Oh, I thought I said bye. Yeah. Her, her boyfriend's a natural. Yeah. Well, he's a personal he trainer, right? Yeah. The, yeah. No, but he doesn't. You can be a personal trainer and still do roids. You can yeah. tell if someone is I can tell. by their personality. Yeah. No, I can and their tell ball about shape. how, like, this. I mean, if Johanna's here, you say, yeah, yeah. No. I can always tell because the skin texture, a lot mm. of guys break out when you like have, crazy, yeah. break out like crazy. And it's like the type of muscle, like it doesn't look natural. It looks like too Inflated. big. Inflated. Yeah, it literally look, and, the, and it looks like weird. Like it looks a like beef, It looks like beef jerky muscle. I don't know. It look, they look like dehydrated or something. Yeah. I don't know. But it depends on how much they're abusing it. You know, you can do but, a little steroid. You can do a yeah. lot. It depends on how much they're dosing The only it. reason, like... I, I grew wouldn't up with want to date sports. like they get crazy. It, yeah, it, you, the roid rage. It's a real change. It's a true thing. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I grew up with a dad both. on steroids, okay. so I know. You know more than me, <laughs> for sure. You both can know. We both know. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't want to know. My dad never watches I don't want to know. Yeah. I'm like, sorry. Okay. Actually, no, he's not. Okay. Well, it's like I mean, some guys do it for themselves for like bodybuilding. A lot of guys have to do steroids for the to compete because yeah. the other guys are doing it, and if they don't do it, then they're not going to win. Yeah. yeah. So it's like no, that's they, their business. And like me, it's like I started competing. I wanted to do it. My goal is to be Miss Olympia, and then. I saw on a, like I went to like a national level to compete and then I saw wow I'm tiny like I'm never gonna be able to compete against these girls because they're all on steroids. Yeah. So Dude, it's those like, girls are insane. No, they're on steroids. Please don't ever get even like bikini, that. even yeah. bikini girls are crazy big. And th people nowadays, I have people commenting like rumors going around that I'm on steroids. 
Listen, I've told no, you this you... time and time again, but before we get oh into that, I just want to say what my physical attraction is. Yeah, oh yeah. It's kind okay, of okay, weird. Okay. okay, say it, say it, say it. Sorry. I don't know. Something about a man's forearms and their veins showing is like, oh my God. Really? Yeah, I think that's... It's so sexy, especially when there's a tattoo or two or three or four on oh, it. Oh, you're just... Yeah, you're like... I, I can see that. Weirdly I, enough, I understand you know, that. It's so weird, yeah. though. I would... And veins, like... If there's, like, a needle going in a vein, I will faint. Dude, I hate that. Yeah. I hate you that. See, this is why job. nobody should ever be self-conscious, yeah. though, is because people have, like, the weirdest, like, Things attractions. Like. like, your biggest flaw could be, like, your future wife or husband's, like biggest like right and then you do something to fix it or you hide yeah, it like or the something sexiest thing and then, then you miss out on someone who would have loved you for that yeah that's it i mean everyone yeah. has different embrace those forearm forearm vein forearm veins forearm there we go. There we go. do you think this is sexy do you like that yeah. <laughs> i can't even see my veins because i need that's this you mirror. want what you can't what you don't have you get <laughs> i'm kind of veiny for sure I mean, <laughs> she gets defensive. I he don't want to be the one with the vein. <laughs> he has look at veins. this. This is like a good. People are always like, "Oh, you if look like I you have a good If I saw my thing. veins, if I saw veins that I think are hot on me, I'd go to the doctor. <laughs> Something would be wrong. No, I'm asking. If I you don't think want I'm that. Sexy. I'd be like, I'm turning into the Hulk. What? Summer just wants you to tell her that her veins are sexy. Your veins are sexy. There Thanks. you go. <laughs> Do you like his hair pushed back? Can you tell him his hair looks sexy pushed back? <laughs> It's so funny. We just had him on our podcast. Yeah. Really? Aaron Samuels? Mm -hmm. He's hiking Jonathan. Looks like he's so fetch. Yeah. So fetch. Mm -hmm. What's he doing nowadays? He just You have to watch the podcast. Oh, yeah. You have to watch the podcast. You got to see. Yeah. Or when? listen to it. But listen, watch whatever feels so, rope. But does your new boyfriend, love of your life, have Wait, are uh, you guys like girlfriend or boyfriend even? Well, yeah. Let's just say. Like, I you, think I'm listen, falling we don't need in titles. We're like, yeah. come on, we're 27 years old. Yeah. I, I don't need a title to mm -hmm. confirm my relationship with or him. Your feelings. We're definitely not hooking up with other people. Yeah. If we were to, it'd be over. So that's, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> Does he know that? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we've, like, we're not allowed. Oh, you, you had a discussion like oh, that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So yeah. it's not. So you guys are dating. That, to me, that's Absolutely. Dating. But yeah. it's not so much that's like, different. you're right. I wouldn't, like, in a new relationship, I wouldn't be like, are you, will you be my boyfriend? Like, uh, oh so my God, like elementary yeah. almost, you know? That is though. Remember yeah. those days? Yeah. Can I be my girlfriend? But now it's more like, hey, you're not f anyone we're else, together. Huh? It's more like <laughs> we're together. Yeah. This is like we're... It's a mutual understanding. Yeah. But it's good to have that conversation though and be like, just so we're not confused. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've and had no that excuses. conversation. <laughs> he makes me feel really secure, you know? He'll yeah. tell me if like a certain someone like reaches out to him, which like, I appreciate you telling me for sure. Yeah. Because it's just like, he's not hiding anything. Yeah. He's like, by the way, this person. Like, yeah. I honestly didn't even need to know that. Yeah. But he tells me because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And I respect that a lot. I think that's really cool. We'll see. Yeah. For sure. He's great. <laughs> great. Well, with love in the air, let's dive into the honey pot. Our honeybees write in their diary entries and we try to give them our best advice. So. Yep, I'll go first. It Wait, is, so are, are you guys giving me advice? You're giving them advice. Oh, ooh, yes. okay. Yeah, you're, you're you are giving the guru advice. She loves today. giving advice. So these advice. are questions from fans. Like, yep. you have an email. Oh my diary God. At oh honey, diary diary com. Send it. Oof. You might want to read the first one, Summer. The second one is. That's lengthy. what I just said. You I can like just said that. go I said, throttle. The first oh, one. Yeah. Don't hold back. They yeah. can get crazy. All right, let's go for it. Okay. Fan question one. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Okay, so I'm currently absolutely confused AF. So my cousin and I got into an argument about a year ago that caused a lot of problems to the point where we haven't fixed things till barely January of this year. Her boyfriend got into an argument and basically has been hating me still and hates it when we hang out be and hang she hangs out with me. However, she basically reassured me that she doesn't care what he thinks, but I went on her snap and seen that she changed my name to something really bad and I know it was me because I seen the bit emoji. IDK, how to make it because this was has been happening since we became cool again. And she's basically picking her boyfriend over me and I pretend that I'm okay. I'm clueless because I know she will not admit it to me and she doesn't want him to get hurt and would rather let me be confused and look stupid. All right. So the situation is that the cousin is choosing her boyfriend over her cousin. Yeah, basically. Let her. Yeah. 
do your own thing. Yeah. Cousin needs to understand that blood's thicker than water. Mm -hmm. It's chicks over dicks. Mm -hmm. Always. Just learn the hard way. Until you're yeah. married. Yeah. <laughs> then it's a different game. But, um, mm. yeah, she shouldn't have to prove herself to her cousin or her boyfriend. Her boyfriend sounds like a douche. Yeah. I would literally just focus on yourself yeah. and your girlfriends and, you know, maybe meet with your cousin one day for lunch or something and say, you know, you have one family. Yeah. You're going to have many boyfriends. Mm hmm So I'll leave you with that. You decide. Yeah. I guess, yeah, leave it up to her of what she wants to do. But she should not beg for a relationship with her cousin if her cousin... Oh, yeah. She, her cousin has to want it. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a couple. Yeah. But it's, I mean, that's family, though. It's, like, also just, like, knowing your cousin is making a stupid decision. Like, it's, yeah. like, unconditional love, right? You just, you gotta, just care about your family so much that you don't want them, you And know. that's probably why she's not saying anything to yeah. her, because she's trying to appease the boyfriend, and then at the same time... She should like, say something to her. Yeah. She should. Just bring it up and be like, hey, I see you doing this. Like, I see you writing, saying mean things about me. Like Write a letter. Yeah. Writing it out always helps. My dad always taught me that. Maybe write the letter and then throw it out and then <laughs> go and one. talk in person. And yeah, like, I don't know how serious it is, but yeah. like, yeah, definitely explain how you're feeling in a calm manner. Yeah, you know, preferably in public so there's no screaming. Yeah, well, that helps. Maybe they will scream. Like at a coffee, yeah, a little coffee shop, sit down, movie yeah. moment. <laughs> you just need to talk it out. Yeah, movie moment. Yeah, and I feel like also it's like. If the boyfriend is that, I don't know, some like toxic relationships can last a long time. Yeah, he sounds pretty possessive. Yeah. Like Especially that's your cousin. Family. That's a, that sounds like a lifetime movie. Yeah. Waiting yeah, to does. happen. Yeah, so much drama. But that's the thing though, it's like that's always going to be in her life. So she kind of does need to figure it out because, yeah. you know, the, her family's tied in so many ways with one another that you, it's really, if you're going to like disown a family member. <laughs> It's like it better be for a strong reason. And I feel like this isn't that. It's just your cousin like being caught up. And obviously the cousin still cares about them mm -hmm. because she's not being upfront with like what she's doing with her boyfriend behind the scenes. Yeah. Because she doesn't truly feel that way. She's just acting like she does. To for the boyfriend. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean we've, I've had best friends in that situation, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we all have growing up. And you just... Consider it like your, your cousin's your best friend, you yeah. know? What would you do for your best friend? Mm -hmm. It hurts, but, you know, you got to explain how you feel. Yeah. And then if she, she can decide what she wants to do with that. Mm -hmm. And I you just got to give her space if she wants to choose a boyfriend. She'll come back around for sure. Yeah, yeah, and age really matters. Like if this was like when they're in their 20s or when they're like... I doubt this is in their 20s. No, uh, this looks, it seems like a little... Sometimes it does happen when they're older, though. Like I've seen like... People mature at different stages, too. Yeah. So, uh, but I think boys, boys, by based, well, you could yeah. be right, sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah. Some girls are still learning through it. Um, mm -hmm. But it's just like all a maturity thing, too, and I think her cousin needs to mature a little bit, too, yeah. and find out what's important in life, because, you know, cutting family members off because a boyfriend doesn't like them, that's a little... It's a little immature. Sounds like a really yeah, the whole kind of, The whole yeah. kind of um, like situation sounds immature. So it's just like, mm -hmm. it just means that they need to just, they'll grow and probably Talk it look out. back and be like, remember when I... Remember that horrible boyfriend that like mm. made me hate you? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably yeah, what's going to happen. There's so much stuff that but happens when you're young. But it's real for them now. So talk it out and let your cousin know how you feel. Let her know that you don't like her talking yeah. behind your back and doing mean things to you because that's not nice even as to any human. And yeah, if she decides to still stay with him, just distance yourself and do your own thing. Isn't it crazy nowadays? We have so many different reasons that could like make us like, oh, she changed my Snapchat name. And she, there's like, when I was a kid, there was no reasons yeah. to be mad. It was just, oh, they're talking crap about me or oh, so-and-so said that they said this. Now it's like, you can see all these yeah. crazy things that like you can unfollow each other on. I'm Love, speaking platform. of Instagram, I heard that they're removing likes. likes and comments. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, is it going to make the world back to normal? Think about it. Because people like people feed yeah, off but of. You're, they're not gonna. Hey, I remember when Kanye went on that huge rant that he wants it not to show how many followers you have. Like it's still is gonna show how many followers you have. Shit. Yeah. 
I don't know. That's an interesting question because some people do love engaging. Like yeah. it goes like both ways. It's engaging like, is definitely but a I don't job. think it's yeah. saying that you it's can't. It's hard. Yeah. Are they saying you can't like photos, or is it saying that it won't no, like show? No, it doesn't show. So it, they can still like them, right? And the other people, you can see who's liking the photos. It's not know. visible publicly. I think it's saying that's not visible. So you can laugh. Neither me, are the like, comments. Yeah. I, I don't think it said anything about comments. Only likes. Hmm. Well, that'll Probably stop people that. commenting just to get a top comment. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> right? So, I mean, you'll get those, like, really genuine comments out there. But that won't affect, if you can still see comments, that'll still, like, encourage people haters. And, like, people the can Comments still are what they can really say mean things to about. I just people. wonder, like, what's going to happen after Instagram? Yeah, there's always something. Black, did you see Black Mirror? Yeah. You know that episode? Yeah. That's the For rating one? one? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> it's where you get ratings for what Can type you, of human you are. That's so scary. Yeah. yeah, my whole thing. They have that already. And look at Yelp, right? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, but I, like through your eye, like actually rating a person. Yeah, and and like you can't do that person is not so allowed to go to specific places. They're doing that in um, I forget which country they're doing it in, but I think somewhere in Asia, they're like already implementing that. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm yeah. done. This yeah, is, yeah. I'm this done. This is the thing like about like a new social media app coming out. Like what can another app do that Instagram can't? Like they already have live video. They already have like I just and I'm not saying that it never can happen. I yeah. just want to understand what's next because they do everything. Mm. And then if they saw another app doing something, they would just steal it from them. They stole from Snapchat, you know, like the filters, everything. They just take I think it. it's going to be so I think it's going to be like something Facebook internal. Facebook is so huge. Mm. Like, you know Facebook I mean? is so huge. Facebook owns Instagram. But people so they're, like, always untouchable. Look, they always look for that cool niche thing. Like, it's like, okay, what's that cool niche thing that nobody else is doing? And then people start doing that, and then that grows momentum. But eventually, that app would be bought out and put under the yeah. umbrella of, like, the... It would just be added to a... Because I mean, that's just The thing, if, if Instagram wasn't owned by Facebook, I would be like, well, maybe Instagram can you be know what? kicked out. But it's owned by Facebook, the biggest... Thing like you, billions and billions. I of mean, dollars. they're so Google. Maybe Google's scheming. <laughs> Dude, it really tripped me out. This yeah. this whole world reminds me of the movie Josie and the Pussycats. Do you remember that movie? Uh-uh. I know, uh-uh. I've seen it. But With how- Tara Reid and um. I, I like vaguely remember this. It's like ooh, red is the new pink. Or like let's get this Starbucks frappuccino. It's better than coffee bean. Yeah. You, do you remember that? No, but... Oh, what? my God. <laughs> Every time I go to the mall, I think of that movie. Because it's just... It's true. It's like everybody wants what everyone else has. Yeah. You know? hmm I don't know. That's like... But that's been going on... Fr- but to, it's been going on, of course. But now it's to, like, but a the whole thing is, other level. Everything's yeah. been going on. All the things that are in the world today aren't new things. It's just that social media Puts amplifies it. it and brings it to light. Yeah, you know? I don't think social media is all bad. Like I think not at all. I think it's a great way for to connect. It's the just world. that people always have to over, sur- like surgery to an extent isn't bad. Everything in life isn't it's bad. It's marketing Di- number that, one. Like everything isn't bad. Pizza isn't bad. All this stuff isn't bad to an extent. People always overdo it. So yeah. social media is bad when it's overdone. You know, yeah. it's like everything. If everyone did everything in moderation and not didn't take it so extreme, it wouldn't be bad. Here's yeah. the thing. When you become famous on Instagram, Mm -hmm. you know, you build your following, but people who start, you know, another business or companies do things because of their following. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? They're set. I think about, you know, some like, no offense to anybody, but some of these models, Mm -hmm. okay? They're Instagram models. Mm -hmm. God forbid, what happens when, when Instagram it's, it's shuts gone. down? Yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah. something that they need to plan for and think about. But that's what I'm saying. You know, you yeah. you have a following, but like, get into, like, you know, I wouldn't charity. recommend for anybody to put themselves underneath a platform, like, solely yeah. that, that could one person, one seat, like, you're not your own boss at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, as long as you think that you are, it's not. That platform, that's what happened with Vine. Like the people oh, really? that stayed on Vine um, and didn't, and didn't go out to other platforms, they mm-hmm. kind of disappeared with the app. I yeah. mean, and that's what, yeah. could, you know. And the thing is, is like the Instagram model, like a thing is like they're always modeling for other people. Like they ne- they're getting maybe 10K here. Maybe if they're big enough, maybe a couple hundred K here and there. 
that doesn't that's not like, it's not even about the year. likes so it's never, not about the likes no, it's about your not, like your not income doing anything. Mm -hmm. like they're you not. guys you have a shit ton of followers but you're established in your own ways outside mm -hmm. of it yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like and i started as an instagram model i could have stayed just doing that's brands exactly. i could have stayed just doing the same thing but i want to evolve brand. and i wanted you to guys do more know things. what to like, do because it's you business I mean? oriented minds a lot of people don't have it and they think oh i have a lot of followers oh, it's entrepreneurship and they don't, look, and they don't yeah. look to the future they think that this is to, it's not even ig models it's it's in just other influencers it's people doing skits it's people doing everything on there i think some people when they first start to especially i notice like the people that like you know hustle and rise like or rise up really quick they just start to do it for the likes like yeah. they and like, they put like crazy Instagram things up like and yeah. it, you know what i mean yeah but that's not longevity like, cuz they're, they're not looking at it as a like a creative. becoming an entrepreneur yeah. i look at you guys as entrepreneurs mm -hmm. you know what and i mean like what you, said, you have a huge following but you did something with it mm -hmm. and just about what you Thank said you. about um like when, when you do it too quickly then it falls quickly like when you get fame too quickly, it's yeah. gonna go quickly. It's gonna go just as fast as it can. Well, that unless, depends on how you but work unless it. you do yeah, something yeah. with it. But a lot of these people, it was just they're just not smart And then about they it. did something, the and thing. then it, they don't do anything with it. It's mm -hmm. just like you look at Cardi B. It's like there's a lot of people who will come out with hit songs, and then they don't do anything because they're like, oh, I made it, I'm famous. Cardi is like, she's like, oh, I'm gonna put out another hit song. I'm gonna put out another hit song. But even and with I'm Cardi like, though, even with that first hit song, she put in so much work. But that like that like honesty and that like sh realness, yeah, like th that's what you know. Why I think she, the timing was great for her too, because social media was full of a lot of like, like blah. It's like everybody's doing the same thing. Yeah. And Cardi came out and she's like, "This is who I am, and I'm just gonna own that, and that's fine." She's like, "Yeah." And that's what people craved because they're yeah. like, "Oh, a real human being." Right. Like, because celebrities like rappers and all like they're put on this crazy pedestal that you can't reach them. They you can't ever see like you know they're like a, they're not human. They're like mm -hmm. some alien force of like some like you know. It's like Cardi's like a real human. It's like oh wow, she's real. Human. It's crazy how mm -hmm. people like view you know rappers and music musicians and stuff because it's like. But that was like old school. Just now the biggest with really people are going to be people talent. who are humans. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and really good at what she does. Exactly. Yeah. But she put in a lot of work on the back end before that hit song. And no, people like, don't even know how long she's been grinding. She's been literally, yeah. I mean, literally grinding for a long time. Like, that's building a foundation, though. Like, even though some people don't see it until the like the masses see it and then you start yeah. hearing about but, it more that's like a strong foundation under you that's also acting because have you ever been watching a movie and you're like oh that's that's a huge and they're playing like a tiny little role in a movie that you didn't even would have ever known who who they were but Initially. they're huge now but they were doing these little movies that you didn't even realize until now you recognize them and there's somebody now you recognize them and like oh i didn't know they were in this yeah yeah so with everything like that's you true. know you you got the opportunity through doing the jean jackets and then it blew up and then from there you put in the work and you did it the right way oh i and had then, to make a lot of free jackets to yeah, get to where i'm at for sure yeah and now you have a like your own business and you're an entrepreneur and it's still going because you did put in that work yeah even so. though my instagram got deleted last year but it's fine <laughs> it's all fine you weren't able to get it back oh no that's gone really yeah it was hell oh my gosh how'd it get deleted Really? Well, there, I had this one issue with like this. I drew this bulldog. Yeah. And this lady who's like 40 something years old came at me saying, That's my bulldog from a children's book. I'm like, What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I had to Google how a bulldog looks. Yeah. But I completely changed it up. I added a crown and everything. Yeah. That was just all bad. Worst anxiety attack on my life that day. Really? Oh, yeah. Because my, my platform, you know, it's a huge part of my work. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Aside from, like, the other things I do. Yeah. You know, it was like a, like a lookbook. Yeah. You know, marketing. Yeah. That's what's scary. Yeah, they can be all gone. I know. Thank God for Facebook. Well, hey, that's the thing just gain your audience, you know? I, yeah. For that's, sure. I did. I think that's, like, something that everybody should take away from it, whether you're a business or... Well, if you're a business. Yeah. No, I, I, this like, was like actually two years ago. I gained yeah. it all back already. Because yeah. that's the thing that's crazy. It's like even like big people. I, and like, I mean like, sorry, I, not just like gain followers, like get that data of your audience. Sure. And like, so you can continue to engage with them yeah. outside of platforms. Exactly. Yeah. It's just so crazy nowadays. Even huge brands are using Instagram and stuff to market it's like mm -hmm. so so it's so like you're going to be able to actually purchase on instagram yeah oh you, i think you already can Gu on a couple like gucci and yeah. um 
yeah. like Nike and stuff. I think that's so sick. Yeah. It goes back to the thing we always talk about, like, malls are dying. Oh, malls are dead. Mm. Done. Everything's e com. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it, what makes it so fun, too, is those drops, those, like, you know, it makes it so everybody well, has, like, a variety. what are kids doing? I, I hate online shopping, not going to lie, because I want to try it on. I want to see it. I want to feel it. I want to feel the material. What are kids going to do when malls are gone? I feel like stores will always exist because yeah. you always need to be able to go and, and grab And what about, like, and... middle, like, what about other places? Like, there's a lot of places in the world. Like, we are in L.A. and we're in, like, major cities and stuff. And But what about middle of Kansas, like other places that are just like not so, it's the there's no of, Uber or Lyft or about, anything there. Think about like the 1920s, okay? What did kids do for fun then? And then our time, we after school, we'd go to the mall. I mean, this I is- I just play in my neighborhood. Yeah, No, but I'm not, even talking, yeah. I'm not even talking about going to the mall. I'm talking about people go to like stores and stuff. There's not everyone on the internet doing things. Some people might not even pay for internet. I'm saying like, we live in a world where we're like, oh, everybody, but then, there's a lot of people that are still living. They're watching cable. They're paying a cable bill. They Riding have no horses. Hulu. They have no Netflix. Yeah. They're like living like like yeah. how they've always lived. Like so Mor- it's not the whole world. Like Mormons and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like it's true. but places it's in the middle of everybody. nowhere. But, but like a vast majority are on like social media and yeah. whether yeah, it be like Facebook, even, even tribes and stuff. It's so yeah. weird. Everyone when I go to when I go to Colorado, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna Postmate. Can't Postmate there. They don't Postmate there? Mm-hmm. Um, but they, they probably have like Grubhub. In or Denver, in the, in the big yeah. city, they have it. By like the suburban town I that like I... Different, different towns though have different forms of Postmates. No, I told like, my siblings about yeah. like Postmates, Uber Eats, all this stuff. They had no idea what I was talking about. Really? Are you serious? Yeah. This was like a year ago, but yeah. Well, they have a lot to look forward to. <laughs> oh, <that's crazy. laughs> or not, because it depends what you like. Really I love lazy. ordering food. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's d- dive into question number two. Oh, honey. Oh, Hannah. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. So, okay. So I met this girl in Wisconsin. I live in Michigan. On a visit with my cousin for a summer fest. So we met when MGK was playing and hung out the rest of the night and met up the next day. And fast forward a month, I came back to go camping with her and her friends. Goes well, we start dating. Okay. So we went to a concert, start dating. Wait, are these two girls? Um, or a guy and a girl? I come back to start camping with her. Oh, we don't know. It sounds like a, it could be a girl talking about a girl or a guy talking okay. about a girl. It's probably a guy or yeah. a girl. Whatever. All is good. Yeah. <laughs> now, the whole relationship, I didn't really have any complaints about her at all. I never was like, hey, change this or stop doing that. I also never really had much to complain to her about and she saw this as not opening up or showing my feelings the whole time i was with her i would take care of her when she was at school i'd be taking care of her animals and cleaning when she was sick i bring food and give massages that aside now let's hear what i don't understand the week before we broke up one of the days i was at her house the whole day and she kind of ignored me said some petty remarks all in all got under my skin. Near the end of the day, she started ignoring me again and just sat and talked to her brother who lives there as well. On the ride back to where I was staying, I kind of got silent and so she started questioning me with what was up. And I tell her that all day she was being petty and ignoring me. She fucking lost it. They're in a huge temper tantrum about how she didn't do nothing and how everyone is always telling her that she's mean or being rude. Her exes. Um, then at that point, I'm shooketh, and I don't know what to say. So I shut up, and I didn't say anything until the following day. So question, what the f*** happened? She's over it. Yeah. 100%. She's just and I say that with, like, the utmost sincerity. I'm really sorry, but I've been that girl. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you just, like, don't that want it That was really anymore. weird. Gonna, like, She's, get out of it. Yeah. You deserve better. Well, actually, well, I was the good one in my relationship, but <laughs> that's not really aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, but no, but I was. But it's like yeah. it's you're hostile towards someone because you're holding this resentment towards them, you mm-hmm. know, and it could be for no reason. Yeah, you're, you're just you're loving, you're caring, you're giving, and you know, some people don't know how to handle that, mm-hmm. and they just you know, some people are just fucked up, and they yeah. want to be treated fucked up. Yeah. And this girl sounds like she wants to be treated f***ed up. She doesn't deserve a good guy like that. Yeah. Poor girl. Yeah, who's doing all these nice things for her. And yeah. then she's just always being... Just get out of it. Trust me. Once you get out of it, 
You'd be like that. And you start ignoring her, she's going to come running. Yeah. Hands down. I'll yeah. put money on it. And then at that point, you'll be like, no, no. Nope. This is- and I know my worth. Yeah. I actually, I don't really want you anymore. Get out of it while you can. And you no. know? Yeah. Time is everything. Like, you can't get that back. Exactly. Yeah. That's the only thing that pisses me off yeah. about my back. But you learn a lot from those relationships, too. Oh. You yeah. just wish you would have learned a little bit quicker. No, yeah. I feel like I am like I have armor around me. Like, yeah. no one can f*** with my back. Yeah, you're like, my, yep, like, stronger. If I see anything, bye. Mm-hmm. No. So, you know, you just got to leave. Take that heartbreak, but it'll make you grow. Yeah, yeah, I think if he leaves now, he won't necessarily be heartbroken. Yeah. He'll be sad for a little bit, and it's okay to feel sad. Yeah. That's what some people don't understand. You'll like, have a lot of free time. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be like, I don't to feel to... these emotions because yeah. that, when you feel them, you grow through them, mm-hmm. you know? Like, good, take that time to be sad. Mm-hmm. You're going to go through the hurt stage, then it's going to turn into an angry stage, and then you're going to be like, all right, I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Literally, that's how it goes. Time mm-hmm. heals all. Mm-hmm. All. It's crazy. Time heals all. Oh, everything. And before we end the podcast, we got some gifts. Mm-hmm. Woo! I like love Christmas, Christmas over here. Wait, is this one mine? No, those are Amanda's. I told you. you oh, those. those are Amanda's. Uh. Summer already has these. Oh. oh. They're both Amanda's. Oh, they're both Amanda's. Oh. You have a- no, <laughs> open the box. <laughs> oh, the box. I get all Where the gifts. Where is it? This? The no. one that has the S on it. We need a box. Need a box. I'm just going to start opening oh, right, my right. gifts. So, so oh, this, these, is from, this is from my line. Oh, that's what you're trying to say. This is your line. Yeah, and then the boxes are a collab. Oh, I already I have all this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Hannah. It's so like cute. I love this. Oh, and the neon. Yeah, I already have it, but you should have just taken my stuff from my house and wrapped it up for me. <laughs> you should have done that. I'm just kidding. Oh, my gosh. So I gave you order on that one to wear with the pants. I love this. Yeah, the is this like the track suit. Wait, is that one says S or A? That's A? Okay, Ooh. that's you. I get more? Ooh. I have another? Oh, yeah. oh. Keep going. <laughs> I love this. I, you know, I didn't what even get this. Yeah. I know, I love Christmas time. Yay, this, this is, is so my fun. favorite one. We love doing podcasts, Wait, the you guys. The- all of our <laughs> listeners just wondering what, guys, what's going on right now. Guys, this isn't the one I wanted. Right this isn't the one that, what's his name, said that he was going to get. Which one them. do you want, then? I want what? this color of Summer, this. you can't take things and oh, that's like, in- I did the photo shoot for this. This is what I deserve, the pe- things. Oh, okay, so the, it, I love the slogans on these. Guys, we just got some amazing, super cute stuff. I know our listeners are like, what is the, going on right now? But the Summer and I just basically got I'll take the black one. gifted her whole line. So where, they, where can they find this? So on my website. Where am yeah. I looking? SoFotis. Yeah, right we'll, put it, we'll put it on. Um, SoFotis.com. But for our listeners... And sophodes.com. S-O- S-O-P-H-O-D-E-S. So check it out and you'll see all the goodies we got. We're so excited. And we're going to put the link. Yeah. Uh, so come to the YouTube video and find the link. Yeah. Or just type it in. Or <laughs> type it in. <laughs> we so love photos. you guys. Thank you so much for watching our podcast on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe. And check out up. all of Sophia's stuff. She's an incredible, super talented artist. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Thank you. No, we're loving this. So thank you. This has been fun. Thank yeah. you guys for having me. No, we're so happy you Thanks came and did it. And then we're so happy how in love you are. We're really happy. Oh my God, you. I forgot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what? And then also make sure she's in love. It's all in video. Now yeah. we have it forever. <laughs> Show Make sure you download our podcast as well. Apple Podcasts, the Spotify, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts, download ours. We love you guys. Send and in send your... in your stories to diary at ohoneydiary.com. Perfect. Love you. Oh, honey. Bye. Oh, oh honey. honey. Diary LLC makes no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy or sufficiency of the information featured in this podcast. The information and recommendations presented in this podcast are general opinions only. This podcast should not be considered professional or expert advice. Reliance on the information provided in this podcast is done at your own discretion. Oh, honey. Oh, honey.